Welcome to this Easy 11 Plus lesson on a special kind of maths problem that I call Algebra That Isn't. And I use this to refer to questions that look like they're going to require pages of working out an algebraic calculation, when in fact all they need is a bit of mathematical common sense. As always, the worksheet for today's lesson is linked in the video description, and I recommend that you have a go at the questions before you watch the rest of this video. If you find it useful, please like, subscribe, and click the bell. Um, and don't forget that I do a live lesson in this channel every Tuesday evening at 6 o'clock. Right, let's get started. So this looks like a classic algebra question, um, something that you'd solve using simultaneous equations. And if you haven't studied that, it probably looks rather terrifying. But let's think about what's going on. We can see that a bucket and a jug cost £9.74. And we can see that a bucket and two jugs cost £13.98. So let's think about this bucket and two jugs. That really means... So put like this, you can see that a bucket and two jugs is a bucket and a jug and another jug. And we know that a bucket and a jug cost £9.74. We'll miss out the pound signs while we're doing our working. And we know that all together, a bucket and two jugs cost £13.98. So £9.74 plus the cost of a jug gives £13.98. So all we have to do now is subtract £9.74 from £13.98 and we'll find the cost of a jug. And there we have it. The answer is simply £4.24. Don't forget to write it in the answer space and don't forget the pound sign here. Even if your pound sign looks like mine. Okay, and now we need to find the cost of a bucket. Well, we know that a bucket and a jug cost £9.74, and now we know the cost of a jug. So all you have to do is take away the cost of a jug from the cost of a bucket and a jug, and we'll have the cost of a bucket. So let's do that nice and simply. £9.24 minus £4. No, it isn't. It's £9.74. Good thing I can rub it out. £9.74 minus £4.24, take them away, and that gives us the answer of £5.50. Now you certainly could solve this with algebra, and I'll be showing you how to solve questions like this in another of my videos. However, if your algebra isn't strong, it's amazing what you can do just by thinking about the situation calmly and using the maths that you already know. Let's move on to the next question. Now this is an absolute classic of a question, and it's a style that quite often turns up, especially in some independent school 11 plus papers, but it could come up anywhere. And this looks horrible. We've got two cups, three mugs, a saucer, and two teddy bears costing £18.19, which is complex enough. And then we've got one cup, two saucers, and a teddy bear costing £12.65. And somehow out of all this, you have to find the cost of one cup, one mug, one saucer, and one teddy bear. And this looks horrible, because you're imagining pages and pages of calculation in which, which you work out the cost of a cup, the cost of a mug, the cost of a saucer, and the cost of a teddy bear, then take all that information together and add it up. But you don't need to do anything of the sort. Have a look at this. What do we have here? We've got three cups. What do we have here? Three mugs. Here we have three saucers. And here we have three teddy bears. So in fact, three of everything costs £8.19 plus £12.65. Sorry, £18.19. So we just need to add those together. And we have £30.84. And if three of everything costs £30.84, then of course one of everything 
is going to equal a third as much. And we can see that a third of 30 is 10. And a third of 84 is, of course, 28. Although you could also do that here by doing 84 divided by 3 and doing a quick calculation. And that's it. All we have to do now is write the answer in the answer space with the correct units. And there you have it. If you remember those methods, you'll be able to do a lot of questions that look really difficult. And if you remember that way of thinking, where you look for the common sense way round a problem without necessarily getting lost in algebra, you'll also be able to solve many other similar yet slightly different styles of question. I hope that's useful. If it was, please like, subscribe and click the bell button. And I really hope to see you next Tuesday evening at six o'clock for my next live lesson. Goodbye.